Hey, what's up you guys? Tom is back with another Linsense video. And today I actually am ready to pick a winner. Now, if you guys watched the last video, you guys were all taking a part of a giveaway, the 1,000 subscriber giveaway. And again, you guys, I'm so appreciative of every single one of you. Again, whether you just jumped on board or you've been on board since day one, you guys are all special to me. You guys, um, again, I really appreciate the love, the support, the comments, the likes, the dislikes, it doesn't matter, the suggestions, the um, ideas of things to do. Um, I honestly appreciate it. Um, just goes to show that uh, I guess you would say the hard work or smelly work that I'm putting in is uh, kind of paying off somewhat. Uh, but again, man, I am just so appreciative, and again, we are at about a thousand, probably at about a thousand ten so far, um, and counting, and uh, I can't wait to see where this channel grows. Um, honestly, I'm in a, the, um, in a moving situation, we're moving right now, uh, soon, and so I put a lot of fragrances away already, so, uh, bear with me if the videos are kind of coming in a little slower, I used to put up like one or two a day, and now it might be one every two days, but I have a lot of fragrances still left to be open, and I have fragrances that are just left in boxes right now because I'm starting to pack some stuff. So we are in the process of moving, and we do have some stuff in boxes, but I do plan on doing very, very soon a top 10 Middle Eastern fragrance. Man, you guys already know Mythical's probably at the number one, but we shall see what makes the top 10. But again, thank you guys, okay? Now today, the fragrance that I'm going to be discussing is actually going to be the fragrance that is going to be the prize for today's winner. And you guys already know how I picked the winners. I got a little uh, little list set up on the uh, laptop over here. Once we're done with the video, the review and whatnot, we're going to pick some names until one name is left. And whoever's name is left, you're going to have to get a hold of me sometime by tomorrow. Okay, If you do not get a hold of me by tomorrow... You will not be winning the prize. I will pick someone else at random, okay? So, with that being said, let's finally dive into the fragrance today. This is the fragrance that one lucky winner is going to be winning. And I used it because, well, I do have one of my own. But since I'm actually being generous, you know, and then you can also say, ooh, Mr. Lincense used it first. He used it all over his luscious body. You can say, man, I've got a Lincense fragrance. Now, no, it is not my own fragrance, but you'll see what it is, all right? That fragrance is Armani Code, the EDP. This is the one that just came out this year, 2021, okay? Top notes are lavender, lemon, bergamot. We got some middle notes of tonka bean. We got the base. We got some vanilla, suede, cedar, and musk. So, pretty much straightforward. Now, honestly, I don't even have the original Armani code. Um, and honestly, like, I don't know if I've probably smelt it but didn't know what someone was wearing. So, forgive me if I don't know this fragrance that well, okay? Because I've never owned the, the original and. Again, it's not like a fragrance that if you just smell in the air, you can just automatically assume that's Armani Code. There's some fragrances that I get a whiff of right away, and I'm just like, oh, yeah, I know what that is. Especially Sauvage, you get someone that's got a Creed or maybe even a Club de Nuit on, you know what that is, and some other stuff. But this one is just not a fragrance that I know of personally. So um, with that being said, the thing that makes this bottle pretty unique is you are gonna have a Linsent imprinted on this bottle, engraved on your very own bottle of Armani Code, the EDP. No, this is not that little one ounce that all the other reviewers are given, or the 1.7. No, this is the full two point ounce 60 ml bottle that some lucky winner is gonna receive. So let me just do one spray. I promise not to use your whole bottle, guys. Let me use one spray just to see what it's like. And man, I'm kind of, the one thing I kind of really do dig about these Armani Code bottles is that although this one is not a magnetic cap, it does have that weird, um, like, like if you see that little 
uh, cutout right here. It's kind of like a little uh, ovalish type cutout. It matches up with this cutout that is right on the atomizer, so it lines up. So you can't just go on there and boom la boom. You're probably gonna go nuts if you can't get it on there right. So you gotta find that right fit, and boom, it goes on. But just like most of the other Armani Code fragrances, let's see what this one is all about. Again, lavender, lemon, bergamot, tonka bean. So I'm assuming this is gonna be a. I'm gonna use two for you guys, okay? But again, some lucky winner is just gonna receive a two. Well, it's more like a 1.99 ounce bottle now, okay? But. I mean, I was thinking with the Tonka bean and like the vanilla, it would probably almost come off like a like a, you need this for fall but that lavender and those citruses at the top and I'm starting to get some slight vanilla right now you almost get everything all at once with this fragrance because I'm starting to get that sweet It's creeping to the point where it could be like if 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 there was a lot more of this tonka bean, it would be too sweet. But it's a perfect amount of sweet in this fragrance that is starting to creep up through that vanilla and those citruses. Okay, so when you first initially spray this, though, honestly, what I got first were those citruses okay that those citruses and that lavender really came through right away up in the air right at first sniff however after like a minute or two the sweetness from that tonka bean a little bit of that smooth vanilla starts creeping through and what started off as me thinking this was gonna be more of a warm weather scent with those citruses it's starting to tone back into more of a cool weather scent. Now, you can obviously wear this in the summertime if you're going into a real cool building. If you got some kind of AC controlled building, you can definitely rock this out wherever you go, okay? This one, you can wear in the daytime, you can wear at night, you can wear it occasionally, you can wear it on a sexy date night, you can wear it to a prom if you're a youngster, you can wear it to a a wedding for our older gentleman. This is going to be pretty much honestly for anybody, even the younger crowd, even though this screams a little bit more towards the masculine side of things. I think that sweetness and that vanilla kind of give it more of this kind of youthfulness as well. Again, that sweetness creeps in. That tonka bean is, is kind of like this sweet, almost bubblegummy type vibe it's really sweet now again it's not overly sweet for me a lot of times tonka bean sometimes is one of my least favorite notes especially if it's a strong tonka bean that's just super syrupy sweet sometimes i'm not digging that however with this one it is not overbearing okay it is just the right amount of sweet with that vanilla with that lavender, with those citruses. Now, I will say the citruses are pretty much non-detectable now. Like I said, when you first spray it now, I can't tell what someone else is gonna smell because I'm constantly right here smelling it, okay? So I'm not sure that when you're maybe a couple feet away, are you, you're not most likely smelling that tonka bean, that vanilla just yet. You're probably still smelling that lavender and that lemon, that bergamot, stuff like that. But when you get close, that's where you get that sweetness, that vanilla get a touch you get a touch of the wood and the suede the suede kind of gives it almost like this leathery vibe not too much though but honestly the most uh most of what i get out of this is that tonka bean a little bit of that citruses and that vanilla which is very nice again this is going to be for any occasion 
up until about springtime, okay? You're not gonna wanna wear this in the blistering heat because again, that sweetness in here will kinda choke someone out if you use this in the high heat, okay? You're not gonna wanna be sweltering hot and putting this on because I don't think it's gonna work. So anything, you wanna try to keep it less than about 75 degrees, okay? Anywhere around there, you should be good with this fragrance. Again, daytime, nighttime, date night, just rocking it out to the store, doesn't matter. To me, this is a very versatile fragrance. Again, do what you want. When you wear your fragrance, don't let someone tell you you can't wear it for this occasion, you can't wear it for that. Wear whatever the hell you like if you like it, okay? There you go. So that is my initial take on this one, this Armani Code EDP. And again, missing two sprays, but one lucky winner is gonna win this. I highly recommend this one, especially if you like those kind of sweet, um, kind of vanilla-y fragrances with that nice little bit of lavender and those citruses, which is very nice. Again, if you like this type of fragrance, go out there and rock it. Um, actually, you know, the real reason why someone is getting this fragrance um, is because the other day they were actually having a buy one, get one free. So you're getting the free one, okay? I'm, I'm keeping the 3.4 ounce, okay? You're getting the two ounce, that's still a generous gift, I think, in my honest opinion. I think that's a generous gift. So here it is, back in its rightful box. And um, again, all you gotta do is get a hold of me through Facebook. Now, you know, I always put the information down in the description down low. So you're gonna have to check that out. So there's no just, oh, I won, oh, well, I won, oh, but Thomas doesn't know you. So you're going to have to get a hold of me on Facebook and uh, we'll go from there. So with that being said, as you can see, I have a crap load of names on here. This time we are starting to, you know, get a few more subscribers. We're starting to get a few more people that are throwing their names in the winner, uh, the, the little hat, if you will. Um, so now the odds are a little bit less than what they used to be. So again, I'm gonna choose a name until I find one, okay? Now, I just wanna show you guys so everything is fair. If you look down there on that blue bar, it says choose. You hit that, it chooses a name. I erase that name, go to the next name, okay? Last name up is the winner. So here we go. All right, so. The winner of the Armani Code EDP is one Stort. I didn't put the last name on, but as you can see, it does say Stort. So Stort. You got until tomorrow to get a hold of me, homie. If you don't, I'm going to be sad, but I'm going to boot your ass to the curb and someone else is going to win this, all right? So, Stuart, get a hold of me on Facebook. But there you guys go. That is Armani Code, the EDP again. I can dig it. It's not the greatest thing that I've smelt. It's not the worst thing I've smelt. But it is definitely a nice people pleasing fragrance there's no one that you're going to offend with this fragrance unless you go too heavy again in the summertime in the sweltering heat this could be offensive but if you do the proper amount of sprays you're not trying to overdo it and again you're not wearing this in the sweltering heat this should be easily a nice people pleasing fragrance it seems like it's kind of projecting a little bit within this surface area this area right here it is kind of still popping off the skin quite well actually so projection you're probably going to be looking at you know whatever normal armani code whatever kind of projection that thing usually gets pretty sure you'll get it here too okay but there you guys go i hope you guys have an joyous night like i am gonna have i'm gonna have a beautiful night again you guys enjoy life enjoy family and friends keep them close um you know they say keep 
friends and stuff close, keep your enemies closer, I think like that. But man, always keep family and friends close, man. You never realize how good of a friend you might have or uh, a family member you have, like how good of a family member you truly had until it's too late, until one of those members can be taken away from you. Um, I know a lot of people who have lost family members over the years, um, over the last couple weeks. And, you know, honestly, I can't even fathom of losing a loved one right now. It's just, you know, especially the way the world is going, losing a loved one during everything, all the pandemics and stuff, especially now that things are starting to get back to normal. Okay. We just went through a shitty almost year and a half of having to wear these stupid masks people dying left and right people getting sick all this stuff and we are finally everything is starting to get back to normal this is the time that you must take advantage of life because if you're still here if you're still breathing you're not in the hospital you are fortunate to not catch that disease i know plenty of people who have caught that thing have died or people who have caught that and sat in the hospital for like two three months man if you are out of that if you never had that you are truly, truly, truly blessed, okay? So make sure you guys go out there and live life to the fullest. But I'm going to get up out of here. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you guys did, hit the likes, comment, and subscribe. Yeah!